So here is TPST, Tempest Therapeutics. This one finishes at $15.67. That is up 49.38% today. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe and catch me every weekday aftermarket close on the Smarter Gambling Show. All right, here is SGOC, SGOCO Group. That finishes at $9.79 today. That is up 279.46%. At one point, this was almost up 500% today. Uh, the high today was $18.80. So yeah, 280% is pretty insane, but at one point it was up 500%. Insane price action today. This opened at like two something, 250, and it hit $19 today. What is that? What is this price action? Absolutely nuts. Okay, so let's analyze this. So right now it's sitting on the support of 980, which it finished at today. So if this goes to the upside, very huge channel here. Absolutely no resistance. So if this goes to the upside, next level of resistance would be the all-time high, which, which it set today at 1880. Um, and then if it breaks that, then we're onto uncharted territory and the market will decide for itself. And same thing the other way, to the downside. Uh, if this goes to the downside, next level of support would be all the way back at 425. So either way, upside or downside, huge channels, there's going to be a lot of price action. And then uh, after 425, it would be 380, uh, 3 bucks, 260, and then uh, 230. And, and there's a few more below that, but I don't think that's even worth mentioning right now. So yeah, uh, the RSI is at 93 right now. So insanely, insanely overbought, insanely overvalued, and it did 123 million in volume today which is by far, by far the biggest volume day ever. Those are bearish indicators. The, the high RSI and the high volume, you really can't expect 123 million in volume again. And, you know, you can't expect the RSI to, to hold up. Uh, those are likely to pull back. Bearish indicators. So that's telling me that the stock is also likely to pull back. Plus, you know, it's, it's up 280%. That's not really sustainable. I mean, either way, if you want to go long or short, this is really risky stuff here. So if you want to take a position right now, please do it at your own risk. Understand that this is going to go really, really good or really, really bad. No in between. Uh, there's going to be huge price action either way. Uh, that being said, I don't recommend going long. It could pay off if this does, in fact, keep running to the upside. Huge channel there. There's no resistance at all stopping this from going to... 19 bucks again and above, but as for the reasons mentioned, high RSI, high volume, 280% run today, it just doesn't seem really logical and really reasonable that this is going to keep going to the upside. I highly doubt that. Now, if you want to go short, again, really risky, but there are bullish indicators here. I feel a lot better about going short than going long. You could justify going short here. Uh, I would support that play, not financial advice. The bearish indicators here, high RSI, high volume, 280% run. That is enough for me to say that going short is a good play. Uh, if you're willing to put up your money for this and you understand that this can go really bad, uh, it's just more likely this is going to go really good than really bad. I I'm going to short this one, or I'm going to try. I've been trying all day, and I never got the fill. But next week, I'm going to try to uh, short this one. If you guys want to do that as well, uh, I would say that's a good play, and I would support that. Just understand that you could lose a lot of money. Congratulations to everyone who made money in this one today. You made fat, fat tendies. Really happy for you guys. Congratulations. And good luck to everyone looking to take a position. Uh, that is SGOC, SGOCO Group. All right, so here is CARV. That finishes at $26.50 today. That is up 21.06%. So yeah, this went on an incredible run yesterday. It was up like 200 something percent yesterday and then it pulled back. And then today, it kept on running. Uh, it made a new all-time high today. It hit 42.50 and has pulled back significantly since then. Um, I tried to short this one this morning. Uh, there were no shares available, which was a good thing. 
I, I would have been underwater like 50% on the trade. So pretty happy about that. And I'm going to try to short this one uh, again uh, next week on Monday. So, all right, let's analyze this. So we got this gap up at like 1270. So that's a bearish sign. Uh, usually the gaps do fill. So this is likely to come back down to 1270 at some point. Maybe a while, but usually the gaps do fill. So just be cautious about that. So right now it's sitting on the support of 2650, which it finished at today. So if this goes to the upside, next level of resistance would be 3440, 3880, and then the all-time high of 4250. If it goes past that, then we'll be in uncharted territory, and the market will decide for itself. But yeah, there are very wide channels to the upside here. So if this does go back to the upside, there's going to be a lot of price action, a lot of uh, upside potential here. Not saying it will go to the upside, but if it does, there's a lot of upside potential. Now, if this goes to the downside, next level of support is 24, then 22, 1930, 18, 1650, 15, 25, 14, 30, 12, 75, and then it would fill the gap there, and then 1150. And I really doubt it's going below 1150. There's a lot of support there. So the downside, these channels are pretty decently sized all the way down until 1930. But not as big as the, the channel to the upside. So uh, there will be decent price action if this goes to the downside until 1930. And then once it breaks that, there's a lot of support here. So it's going to take a lot of selling pressure for it to go lower than 1930. RSI is at 78. So this is still overbought and overvalued. Pretty high up there. It's close to 80. So that is pretty overbought and overvalued. So just be careful. And it did 64 million in volume today. A lot of volume, uh, not nearly as much as yesterday. Yesterday it did almost 100 million, but this is the second largest volume day ever after yesterday. This run today is not a fluke. It's confirmed by the volume. So uh, if you want to go long, I, I don't recommend that. I, I know I said that yesterday and, and it went up today, but if you want to go long, this is really risky. You know, RSI is pretty high. The volume is pretty high. Uh, I expect those to pull back. Those are bearish signals. Um, we got the gap up at 1270. That's another bearish signal. I mean, if this does in fact keep running to the upside, uh, it could pay off a lot because like I said before, the channels are really wide. So if it does go to the upside, there is going to be a lot of price action and this can easily go back to the all time high of 4250 and higher. I just don't really think it's likely that that's going to happen. There really are no bullish indicators here, no bullish signals. So not saying it won't go to the upside, but just my personal opinion, not financial advice. Uh, it doesn't seem very likely that this is going to keep running to the upside. Now, if you want to go short, seems like a good play. Personally, I'm looking to short this. I wanted to short this today. Didn't get the fill, but I still want to short this. Even better price now. Like I just said, high RSI, high volume. I expect those to come back. Gap up at 1260. So all bearish indicators. Got a lot of bearish indicators here. There is some pretty strong support. But I'm not too worried about that. I think that there is going to be a lot of selling, a lot of profit taking, uh, a lot of shorting. So even though there is some pretty strong support here, I do expect this to break that support pretty easily. I think that shorting is a good play, not financial advice. I'm personally going to do it. And if you guys want to do it, uh, I support that. Yeah, that is CARV, Carver Bank Corp. Uh, congratulations to everyone who made attendees today. You guys are some real apes. If you held through yesterday and you didn't take profits <laughs> and, and you made even more money today, I salute you guys. That takes some balls. So some true ape stuff right there. But um, yeah, I think the party's over pretty soon. It looks like it's going to pull back in the short term. Good luck to everyone who is currently in this stock and who's looking to take a position. So here is MMAT, Meta Materials. You know, this has been trending for the past couple of weeks, all the way back when it was Torchlight. Still trending, but not for uh, good reasons anymore. Now it's trending for bad reasons, unfortunately. So this finishes at $4.75. That is down 17.39% today. Yeah, nasty. So the high was $21.76, and now it's below 5 bucks. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Like 80% pullback? What in the hell is going on here?
And uh, it's unfortunate because around like eight dollars to like six sixty in that channel right there, you know, it looked like it was gonna consolidate and then break out again. Uh, it didn't. It straight tanked, and it's still tanking. Looking at the chart, it looks kind of bearish. There's no support. It's blowing right through all these supports. You know, um, nothing is really holding the stock up. It just continues to go into freefall. That's not a good sign. Anyway, so let's analyze this. A at least there is a gap down at 14. So that's a bullish signal. Uh, the gaps usually do fill. So at some point, this is likely to come back to 14. It might be a while, but the gaps usually do fill. Uh, right now, it's trading between this rectangle of uh, 520 and 450. Uh, we'll do the downside first. So if this goes to the downside, next level of support would be 450, 360, 270. Um, I really doubt it's going below 270. There's a lot of support there. It retested 270 a bunch of times. So I really doubt it's going below 270. But if it does, then uh, it would be 160, 90 cents, and then the low of 40. Hopefully, it doesn't get to that point, but you never know. Now, if this goes to the upside, next level of resistance would be 520, 570, 660, 740, 8 bucks, 850, 970, 1080, 1150, 14, 16, 1780, 20, and then the all-time high of 2176. So right now, either way, to the upside or downside, there is a lot of support and resistance both ways. However, even though there is a lot of support, this thing just keeps on blowing right through all the supports and just keeps on free falling. That's not good. And it doesn't look like it's going to stop yet. If this does go to the upside, once it breaks 1150, uh, then the channels get very wide. Then there's going to be a lot of price action to the upside if it breaks 1150. But honestly, it's probably going to be a while. Okay, the RSI is at 41 right now so uh that's a little below average not oversold and undervalued just yet but uh that that is a little bit on the lower side there so that's a bullish indicator and not too much volume today it did 26 million volume uh, so the volume has been pulling back significantly that's kind of odd because it tanked so much today it tanked over 17 percent with relatively low volume that kind of tells me that this is a fluke this tank today is not really justified by the volume. So um, hopefully it's a fluke, but we're, we're getting mixed signals here. RSI and volume, those are bullish indicators. Gap down at 14, that's another bullish indicator. Just looking at this free fall, it looks really bearish. It, it does not appear like it's gonna be over just yet. I don't know where the support is gonna be. It, it hasn't stabilized yet. You know, now we're pulling back to like, even before it pumped up. This is really nasty. You know, if you don't have a position in this one right now, I'd honestly just stay away from it because we're getting mixed signals. I really can't tell you where this is going. Based on the technicals, it would appear that th there's a lot of a lot of upside potential here. It appears that it's going to recover soon. RSI is saying that. Volume is saying that. We got the gap down at 14. Those are all bullish. However, it just doesn't stop pre-falling. And it doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon. So really couldn't tell you where this is going to go in the short term. So for that reason, I would stay away from this altogether. If you currently are not in this one. Yeah, this is really nasty. Sorry to everyone who lost money today. And, you know, the past week. The past two weeks. Hang in there. And good luck to everyone who is looking to take a position in this one. Either way, if you go long or short, it's going to be really risky. And I just wouldn't recommend getting into the stock at all. But if you do, just understand the risks. So yeah, that's Metamaterials, MMAT. So here is TPST, Tempest Therapeutics. This one finishes at $15.67. That is up 49.38% today. This came out of nowhere today. At one point, it hit 25. The high was 25 bucks at one point. Uh, pulled all the way back to 1567. So yeah, significant pullback, but still up almost 50% today. Huge day for this stock. No news to justify this run. The apes just like the stock. And they piled in and squeezed it today. We like to stop. Either way, to the upside or the downside, there is a lot of support and resistance both ways. All right, so right now it's sitting at this support of 1570, which I finished at today. So if this goes to the upside, next level of resistance would be 1660, 1770, 19, 2030, 2150, 23, 
25 and 2670 and there is some more res resistance after that uh, but we're not going to discuss that right now really no point point. and if this goes to the downside next level of support would be 1480 1370 1330 1215 1120 and then the low of 1040 the rsi is at 50 that is right on the average so right now at this current price, according to the RSI, this is fair market price. This, this is a cup and handle. The top of the cup was 2660. And it didn't quite reach that today, but almost. It hit 25. But yeah, we do have a cup and handle forming here. The cup formed. It's kind of a messy cup and handle, but this is a cup and handle. So we got the cup formed right here. The cup completed today. So after the cup forms, it usually pulls back to form the handle. Halfway between the top of the cup and the bottom of the cup. So the bottom was like... 10 and the top is like 25 so the handle should be forming around 18 i would say uh, i do expect this to start to consolidate around 18 dollars for a little bit and then hopefully it'll break out again after that i mean that's, that's a slightly bullish indicator as of right now because it's at 1570 so this probably is going to come back up a little bit I, I don't think it's going to moon again uh i think the run is over it did a lot of volume today biggest volume day ever 7.75 million in volume which is by far the biggest volume day ever, so uh, this pump is not a fluke. It's confirmed by the volume. If you want to go long, seems like an okay play, not the best. Like I said before, uh, the cup and handle is probably going to start to form, so I think this might go up a little bit to around 18 and then start to consolidate. So that's about, what, a little over a 10% gain there. So if you want to go long, you could make a little bit of money here, but it's not the craziest upside potential here. So if you want to go long, okay, I guess I can get behind that, but it's not the greatest play, you know, you can probably make a little bit of money. And if you want to go short, I probably wouldn't do that. You're probably not going to lose a lot of money, uh, but you're probably not going to make a lot of money either. For the same reason, cup and handle is probably going to form. We're probably going to see consolidation around 18. According to the RSI, this is an average price right, right where it's supposed to be. If you're not currently in this stock, I just don't really see a reason to take a position either way, long or short. If you had to choose one, I would say go long because there is a little bit of upside potential here and really not too much downside potential. Y you know, if you're currently in the stock, not financial advice, but I would look to take profit pretty soon between here and $18. Uh, I mean, I guess if you want to hold this and you're okay with holding this while this consolidates, sure, go long. You know, I really don't expect any crazy price action on this in the short term. Uh, I do expect some consolidation and eventually it's going to break out again. So yeah, congratulations to everyone who made money in this one today. And good luck to everyone who is looking to get into this stock. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. You apes already know, diamond hands to the moon. I'm Ty. This is Smarter Gambling. See you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend, everyone. Peace out.